Hey, do you want to learn some basic GPIO Raspberry Pi stuff with Python and then die in style if your house goes up in flames? Well, now you can make this sick smoke alarm that plays Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up every time it senses smoke in your home. You and your loved ones can enjoy some chill 80s vibes as you scramble for your lives fleeing from the fire. Okay, so this is the Cookie or Cookie Home Sensor Kit for Raspberry Pi and Arduino. We're going to check out the Raspberry Pi tutorials. If you scroll down, you can see different tutorials for different kinds of modules. We're going to check out the MQ2 smoke sensor module tutorial for Raspberry Pi. And you can see this is what it's going to look like when it's all wired up with the breadboard. It shows you the components you're going to need. You need the Pi, the sensor, analog to digital converter, breadboard, and some jumper wires. So all this stuff comes in the kit except for the Pi and the breadboard. Then down here this diagram you're going to want to open this and take a look at it. This is how you're going to want to wire up the GPIO pins to the breadboard and the sensor to the breadboard. I'll post a link to this diagram down in the description, but you'll want to definitely take a look at that when you're wiring your stuff up. Then down here, there's a link to the code that they want you to download. You can use these terminal commands to create a file on your computer. I'm just going to open this up and copy paste it. So the way this code works is first up top, we've got some imports. RPI GPIO is gonna let us interact with the GPIO pins. The time library is gonna let us put little delays in the code so when we run a loop, it's not gonna run a bajillion times every second because computers are really fast, so we're gonna add little delays. Then we got some variables here that are corresponding to different pins. You can set them to other stuff, but you shouldn't unless you know what you're doing because there are some pins that you don't wanna hook stuff up to it can damage your Pi or the modules you're working with, but you can change those to other things. But you'll want to use those if you use the diagram that we're using. The init function is going to set up our GPIO pins using the GPIO library and those variables that were just defined up above. It's going to set those pins up either as inputs or outputs. The read ADC function is going to be used to read the data coming from the sensor module. The main function is going to call the init function to set stuff up, then it's going to print please wait. It's going to use time.sleep to wait 20 seconds while the sensor module warms up, and then it's going to run a loop. That loop, every time it runs, it's going to get a read from the sensor module using the read ADC function, and it's going to pass to the read ADC function some arguments. Those arguments are going to be the pins that were defined, and then it's going to save the response it gets to the variable CO level, and then it's using CO level down there in that print statement. So first we're going to put some parentheses around these print statements. Then up top we're going to import Pygame. In the init function, we're going to initialize our Pygame mixer. Then we're going to load the MP3 file. Then when we tell it to play this, we're going to pass it a negative one to make it loop. And then we're going to tell it to start paused because we want it with no music playing when it begins. Next, we're going to take this value here and we're going to turn it into a variable. We'll call it smoke val. We're going to make an if statement based on that smoke foul, and if it's greater than 0.7, we're going to unpause our music. Otherwise, if it's less than or equal to 0.7, we are going to pause our music. And then we're going to tell Python to sleep for half a second, and then we're going to print out the current AD value. And we'll go ahead and change that to just say AD value. And then we can delete this part and save. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it alarm.py. Next we need the actual sounds we're going to play, so we can head over to iTunes or Spotify and we're going to go purchase this mp3 and make sure that we are definitely giving money to the people who own this music. Think about how much we respect the institution of intellectual property and then we're going to put that file in the same directory as alarm.py. And we're going to make sure we change the name of this file to match the import that we put inside of our Python script. With that done, if you've got the GPIO stuff hooked up, then you're pretty much good to go. Here's a demo of me using a burning incense stick to trigger our smoke alarm here. 